just a quick sketch. This is a picture from Pixabay. I like Pixabay, free uh, source photographs. I'm just going to sketch a little bit. First, going to sketch the outlines just very loosely. And measuring the nose, constantly doing this. So I can copy, let's say, the, the, the drawing using those kind of angles. <laughs> to a certain extent, I'm using these kind of uh, techniques to, to copy it, and to a certain extent, it's just practice to be able to copy that without too much aid of that. And now um, I have her face more or less on the paper sketch, sketch of her face. I had a tendency to to draw her hair too much to the right actually but I think I'm focusing on the skin tones anyway <clears throat> so I'm just using an HB pencil and this 300 grams paper and I also made this print so I have this print which is quite light but it gives the de delineations uh, good and this is more for the shadows so I will rely more on this I think to get the shadows right now so I'm just trying to get this on screen so I'm doing it this way Going to tape it. And now I'm going to add shadows. Sometimes I take this to see how the eye is formed because I've lost definition here. Um, I made these with laser printers, so it's not really great um, tonal range. <laughs> it's often either too, too too light or too dark, but I like the convenience of having a laser printer. Um, I find photo printers quite expensive when they are in color so when I have a color reference that I need I prefer to go to a local uh, store where they where they have these uh, booths where you can directly print photographs without having to wait And I need to get the form of that eye right. There's this. And this form. I 
I drew the eye a little bit too much to the right, I think. So I'm going to correct it. One shouldn't be afraid to correct things. Sometimes even uh, drawing a second line, <laughs> but it, it it can have a nice effect even when you have corrections visible in a drawing. Now I've deline oops, delineated her face quite forcefully here with accentuations. I want these shadows here. I like the structure of this paper. And I need to get this away, so if you need this photo reference, just um, make a screen capture or something, and you can put it against a window <laughs> on, the, on your computer screen on which you have this video playing. it a little more neat I think it, it, it was a bit too rough and when you look closely at this you can see that the nose is the lightest part followed by the lips and then this area so um, I want to have that difference in my drawing as well so I keep the nose lightest and a very subtle hatching here makes it tone down a little bit in, va in tonal value which is important to get the build up of the lighting area correct even these, this under lip. When you have a drawing in which every aspect of the drawing is, you know, the white of the paper and dark, then uh, it's not as realistic as when you gradually uh, make certain areas a little bit darker, like this area. I could have left the white of the paper visible, but then it, it wouldn't have been right in, in relation to the nose. So I try to be careful having those relationships between tonal values be, between the different areas. Now I need this lighter 
photograph to see how the hairs are going. So I try to add lines which are following the directions of her hair and I'm suggesting her hairs that way her hairdress and I'm going to work on the shadows more this area and I call these veils of hatchings to make uh, the shadow areas darker And I want to add a little bit of atmosphere. So um, now this is all white. I like a little bit of suggestion that there is air here. I still want her face to be dark against the light background, but I'm trying to break the white of the paper a bit. Zooming out a little, so you can see it a little better. I don't really like this, what I did here. So I, it's it was better when I didn't do this. So I'm, I'm, I have to adjust now and work on the composition now of this drawing. It's a bit sketch-like everything, but there's now this this form. I want to I want to have a more even form. So I'm going to draw a little more of the hair than I had intended to. I didn't give it that much talk by the way beforehand so I just started drawing but I don't like the way it looks now actually so what do I do with that um, making certain areas here even darker I break this overall form a little bit yeah, this
Now this is, I added some more darkness here, some, some hatchings, and now it's not that ugly triangular, slightly triangular form. I, I really didn't like that. It needed something here to counter this, <laughs> to get this away. And I don't want it to work too much on this. Taking another pencil which is sharp again. And I'm, I don't want to do too much to this drawing now. A little bit of detail work. But I get the feeling that the more I do now, the more I can diminish the effect of the drawing, so it's meant to be a spontaneous drawing. I don't want to do too much about it now. Oh, this is too hard of an, of an accentuation, so this is the eyebrow, so what is this <laughs> piece of the hair, I think. So I need to make this more. Uh, merge into the rest of the structure of the hatchings. I think it, I did this as a response to what happened here, which I didn't like. And now I see it's, I think it is nice to have some strong dark accentuations for the hairs here. Don't want to overdo it. But it contrasts a bit nicely with the face. Now I'm reaching the point that I say I leave it at this. Uh, oops. There's always something <laughs> that you see in the end. I think I'll leave it at this.